welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be doing an acrylic set and i'm going to be using not polished acrylic colors obviously um i'm going to be using m98 water my melons m103 brain freeze m107 mamba cita m100 hotline bling this is one of my favorites i love it um g08 glow me the money this one glows in the dark and I've got 101 Milky White. These are available on the Not Polish website. Um, you can use code Natalie to save 10% on the US website. And um, there is a link also in my description box to the UK website. Um, if you are new, you can get, um, you can use a, I think the code's welcome 10, but I'm not sure. If you have never placed an order before with Not Polish, you can get 10% off using, the, the code I think is on the website, but there'll be a link to the English Not Polish website in my description box okay right um i'm gonna start by all the nails are gonna have this milky white base so i'm not gonna make it too thick because i want to add the design on the top using the other acrylic colors but the majority of the nail is going to be milky white so i've just gone in with one bead to cover the free edge then i'm going to go in with a second bead to sort of work from the cuticle down and then I'm just going to blend it over the top. We are going to cap this design in clear. So again, you don't want to make it too thick because on one of the nails, I did actually uh, make it too thick and I fold through a little bit of the design on the side. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting ever such a small amount of acrylic on the end of my brush. Um, I made my, my brush is quite wet and I'm just literally like spreading that acrylic around the nail in little patches i get to here and the, the yellow looks a bit like the green a little bit um i was like i need another color so um i do pick out another i was like i, I yeah i got i put a bit more green on there because i felt like it needed a little bit more of a uh, it needed enhancing a little bit and a bit of blue at the top then i got to here and i was like yeah we need another color so i went with an orange i'm going to be using electricity m99 and I'm gonna put a little bit of this through the middle. Again, just, you only need this, because these are really pigmented colors, so you only need a little bit. And I was kind of going, I don't even know how you would describe this. Um, I'm gonna show you again on this nail. So again, I'm going in with my first bead of Milky White. Um, I'm gonna blend that down, the, not blend it, like move it down the nail. And then um, I go in with my second bead at the cuticle area. Again, you don't want to make it too thick, not just yet anyway. But you don't want to make it too thick anyway. <laughs> you don't want big old lumpy nails. And then... Before... Uh, I forgot what I was going to say then. I was in, I was in a bit of a daydream then. Um, now I'm going to take the, again, very, very small wet beads and just spread them on the nail. I, I kind of want to put them in different places to the first nail. You don't want to, you don't want to put them all in there. This yellow was so, like it's, it's crazy pigmented, the yellow. And then we're gonna go in with some orange. Just spread it around. I kind of wanted to make sure there was still, you could still see the white underneath. I didn't want them to completely cover the nail. It kind of, what's the word, I kind of, Mm, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know what, how would you describe these, this design, guys, guys and gals? I put a bit too much green on there. Right, so I'm going to carry the design on through the other nail. Cut myself off then. So I'm going to continue the, the design through the other nails, and then this is Twinkle Twinkle from Nail Sugar. This is really, really pretty. If you want to get 10% off any Nail Sugar glitters and stuff, you can do so using code NATMUG10. So I'm just putting... Um, for each nail like this nail for instance i chose the circles so i'm picking out the circles and i've just got a little tiny bit of clear acrylic on the end of my brush i place it on the nail where i want the circles to go and then i will pick the circles up with my brush and place them on that acrylic now this nail i am doing stars so this is going to be a stars nail i think they've got hearts on so i think the next nail i do hearts 
and then the index finger I can't remember I had to repeat the I think I, I put stars on the index as well because there's only circles stars and hearts and I've got four nails obviously I was going to put old English letters I was going to draw on old English letters over these nails because I've seen people doing those um but my friend Sarah suggested like circles and I quite like the idea of circles um she was worried that the the letters would um cover up too much of the design so this is why we we chose we chose the circles so now I'm going to cap the nails all in clear I'm going to show you me just doing a couple of nails because I don't like I oh, just find capping a little bit boring but I know some people like to watch it I'm going to put a little bit more at the end here because there wasn't enough there and then I, I kind of I like to start with the free edge capping the free edge but I didn't do it on this one <laughs> I kind of it's a bit I don't know I kind of yeah I'll shut up now there we go and then once they've then once they've set I'll give them a file and a buff and we will end up here so I'm going to be using my ugly duckling art gels these are new I've only just got these but I have been playing around with them and they are so nice to use I'm so glad it was these ones that I chose um, I'm only going to be using the black and the white. They do do some other colours. So here we go. These are the little pots. They remind me of dice because they've got the, the corners are slightly cut off, do you know? Um, I'm using my Natalie Mugridge, uh, Nail Sugar Natalie Mugridge Detailer Brush. Um, but I do actually change my brush actually for this one. I'll tell you what brush I use in a minute. So when you open these up, they come, they've got the lids and then they've got these little, you know, like a paint pot like they've got this little like how cute is that i don't even know what you call it it's like a paint lid a paint pot lid i i love these i just think they're so lovely i should use gloves when i wear them though when i use them in future <laughs> and then this is the black one they're five mil little pots but i love the packaging it's so cute okay so now i am i'm gonna start drawing on um a kind of retro 60s kind of I, I actually for this one I went I got my dotting tool because I find dotting tools a lot easier to create dots obviously hence why they're called dotting tools um, so that's gonna be like my center dot and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like like little stumpy dots and then I'm gonna do like circles um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you what's the what's the word Oh, by the way, if you want to know which brush I switched to, I switched to my Crystal Nails Zero Short Brush. I actually found the short brush a little bit easier to create the circles with. Um, I don't, honestly, I've used everything, everything I've done, I've used my, um, I've used this brush with. Um, so it was quite nice to try a short brush. I guess the longer brushes, because this is a, I think it's a 7mm is it a seven mil brush on the end of my brush so it's probably a lot easier to do straight lines i don't know i don't know but every everyone uses different brushes to do different techniques don't they anyway right i am set that said i still absolutely love my brush it's the best honestly i, I could not be without my detail brush i absolutely flipping love it <laughs> right i'm gonna let you watch this and i'll speak to you in a second So as I go through the design, as I do certain bits, I will cure it um, in the lamp or with my, I decided in the end not to use that little torch. I just shoved it in the lamp. Um, but when you finish your design, make sure you do fully cure the gel paints. They cure for 60 seconds in a UV lamp. Um, I found, <laughs> I was playing around and I only cured them for 30 seconds and they actually smudged when I top coated them, which is obviously gonna happen because they didn't get a full cure. So I'm gonna let you finish watching this and I will speak to you in a second. Thank you. 
so i'm just going to put this dot on and then i'm just going to finish the design off camera so you can put dots or circles or whatever wherever you want them it doesn't matter i just kind of ended up doing this they weren't the neatest circles in the whole wide world but they're gonna do <laughs> and i'm gonna use the matte top coat from not polish to go over the nails if you want to you could use it glossy uh you could use it glossy you can't use this one glossy because it's matte you could use a glossy you know a shiny top coat and um, they do have a glossy top coat i decided to go with matte because i thought it would look quite nice with that sort of you know the, the bright colors underneath I will show you what they look like as well before I pop them in the lamp. So if you do want to keep them shiny, it gives, gives you an idea of what they will look like. I was in two minds about this set. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I, I, yeah. But I thought I'd still show it because it's kind of funky, isn't it? So when you've finished top coating, pop them in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. I'm using an LED lamp. There we go. So this is what they look like shiny. And oh, this is what they look like when they've cured. I kind of, I do kind of like, I kind of, I like them. I do like them. I'll show you a better, a better shot here. There we go. If you did like them too, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Um, yeah. Don't forget to check out Not Polished and Ugly Duckling on Caught You Looking website and Nail Sugar. And I will see you beautiful lot in the next one.